If you have a Cyberbot robot, there is a module that has to be added to the Microbit Python editor's project settings. It extends Python by adding statements to make the Cyberbot move, read sensors, and more. Modules for the Cyberbot robot are in a zip file. They're available from this page, www.parallax.com package slash cyberbot dash library dash python. At this page, just click the download button to get a .zip archive that contains all the modules in the Cyberbot library. The file should be in your downloads folder, and to find it, click your browser's downloads button, point at the Cyberbot MicroPython file, and then click the show and folder icon that appears. Your computer should open your operating system's file browser and show you the file, which is typically going to be in the Downloads folder. After this example with Files Explorer in Windows, we'll look at how it works in Mac and Chromebook too. In Windows, right-click the Cyberbot MicroPython archive and select Extract All. Then follow the prompts. It'll show you the folder it extracted in a new Files Explorer window. Closing that, you'll see the folder it created in the Downloads folder. Open it, and you can navigate to the subfolder that contains the Cyberbot module you'll be adding to the project. If you have a Mac, the Cyberbot MicroPython archive should be in Finder's Downloads folder, and double-clicking the file should extract it by default. If not, right-click, two-finger tap, or control-click the archive, point at Open With, and select Archive Utility. It'll extract the Cyberbot MicroPython folder with the Cyberbot.py module inside. If you have a Chromebook, the Cyberbot MicroPython archive should be in the Files Apps Downloads folder. Right-click and select Extract All, and the Cyberbot MicroPython folder will appear. After extracting the Cyberbot MicroPython folder from the archive file, you can now use the Microbit Python editor to add the Cyberbot module to your project. Start by clicking the left panel's Project tab, then click the Open button. The File dialog should start you in the Downloads folder. From there, navigate into the Cyberbot MicroPython folder, find and select the Cyberbot module, click Open, and then confirm adding module cyberbot.py. At this point, your project should show the main.py file, which is the script you are working on, plus the cyberbot.py file. The cyberbot module makes it possible for the microbit to control the cyberbot board using statements called method calls. The cyberbot library reference has a list of methods, and you can find it at learn.parallax.com slash support slash reference slash cyberbot dash library dash reference. Next time you need to start a Cyberbot project, it's a lot easier to reopen a project that already has the Cyberbot module added to it. So let's save it for later. Before saving it, let's also change the from microbit import star statement to from Cyberbot import star and also delete the rest of the script. The Cyberbot module will give you access to everything in both the Microbit and Cyberbot modules. Keep in mind that your script won't actually do anything until the Microbit is connected to a Cyberbot board. So we are just going to save this for later by naming the script Cyberbot template and then saving it. Now that this template script is saved, you can continue coding with just the microbit by opening a blank project. As you can see, there is no Cyberbot module in it. When you have the Cyberbot board connected to the microbit and a battery supply, you can reopen the Cyberbot template and it'll have the Cyberbot module already in its project settings.